Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and if you haven't caught up with me this week you'll see my setup's a bit different I'm actually staying at my daughter's for a few days so I don't have all my decks with me sadly I can't bring all those decks so I'm limited with the decks um, but I felt like doing a Divine Masculine Thoughts reading today haven't done one of those for a while don't forget there's a chance to win a free reading from me um, just subscribe to the channel like the video and leave the comments soul for the week of the 21st of june and um, to have a chance to win a reading um just a one question reading there's one up for grabs every week check out my other channel star child tarot my deck shop and my patreon all the links are down below if you sign up for patreon before the first of july it's just five dollars a month you can also qualify for a free reading that way and you can also call for another reading if you decide to buy some decks. If you buy some to the value of £40, again, you can get a free reading that way from me as well as a thank you. Okay, so we're going to look at the Divine Masculine Thoughts right now. And as I said that, it was 111 on the clock here. So I've pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to clarify. So we've got Caring Connections. All tied up. Healer of the Ages, Contract, Fifth Chakra, the Throat Chakra, Archangel Gabriel, Strategy, The Thinking Man, The Third Chakra, Solar Plexus, with Archangel Shamal, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel, which is the Sacral. So a lot of healing going on here. And Man Holding Heart, how beautiful is that? And it's number 4 plus 5, 9, which is the end of a cycle. So these readings are for people in separation, no contact. So it does look to me that the feminine is very much on his mind with that caring connections. He's really wanting that, I feel. But we've got all tied up, which is like the Eight of Swords energy. He's very much up in his head at the moment, not taking action. But we've got Healer of the Ages. I feel he's been either gone to see a healer or he's been receiving healing, okay? There was much needed. And he's recognised this contract between you, this soul contract. He feels the soul connection. And we've got the chakras. We've got the fifth chakra, the third chakra and the second chakra. So um, the lower chakras... So yeah, the the third chakra, talking about um, self-esteem issues, working on his self-worth. The throat chakra, you know, opening up to communication. And the second chakra, talking about sensuality, creativity, passion. So feeling that connection with you in those areas. And he's working on a strategy to come forward. And, you know, he's very much in his thoughts here with a thinking man energy. But he wants to step through the doorway. Um to personal healing and happiness. He's doing that healing work and he wants to move forward and have that happiness and he's feeling the love. Okay, he's feeling the love with the man holding the heart there. So he's definitely in love, having loving feelings. So let's just clarify these energies. So what is the caring connections talking about here? Yeah, we've got the moon energy. So there's been a lot of hidden thoughts and feelings here around feelings I feel between you both here and I feel that he's now getting in touch with his feminine side and we've got the fool energy he's wanting to take that leap of faith he's wanting to take a risk at the moment though he's tied up but we've got judgment energy so I feel your guides and angels really guiding this connection and we've got the healer of the ages here we've got the two of wands so needing to make that choice he needs to finish his healing and he will be in that right frame of mind and we've got the soul contract here and we've got temperance coming into balance so i feel this is on his mind you can see there's two masculine energies in this card and i know he feels that maybe if he doesn't step forward 
and there's an older gentleman and a younger gentleman so take what resonates for you this may not apply to you but as i said we did have the two of wands he's aware that you could have choices that's what i'm thinking he may feel there's somebody else on the scene and he knows he can't, needs to come forward and we've got that throat chakra he needs to communicate his truth to you he needs to speak to you and we've got the high priestess i feel he's really tapping into his own intuition and receiving guidance here and he's making a plan with that strategy. He's, he's making a plan. Okay, he's wanting to move forward here in the right way. So what is that strategy about? What's that strategy about there? We've got eight source energy. So as I said, very much up in his head right now. Okay, he's overthinking everything. He's feeling stuck at the moment. Okay, he's overthinking. So why else is that strategy there? Yeah, we've got five of pentacles. So he's really been missing this connection. He's really felt left out in the cold. He's really noticed the loss of you okay sometimes we have to lose something before we realize what it means to us and we've got the nine the thinking man and the nine of swords so a lot of overthinking a lot of worry depression anxiety here really up in his head but nine is nearly at the end so he's coming out of that okay and he's in that good energy of self-worth okay and we've got ten of wands he's had a lot on his plate he's had a lot a lot to deal with and he's been working on his healing working on his self-esteem here Yeah, we've got page of one so he wants to message you he wants to tell you some how he's been feeling he wants to reach out he wants a fresh start um, and it could be a light-hearted energy like a, a floaty text or an email or something like that and a light-hearted energy and um, when he feels in that confidence to come forward to make a move and we've got daughter healing happiness with we've got the strength card so he's really been working on that on his inner strength his emotional strength his spiritual strength he's feeling in a much better place about himself but he's feeling these desires here with the sacral chakra he's really feeling that passion that desire for his feminine here but he's willing to put in the effort with the eight of pentacles he's willing to put in the time and effort to build something it's not just about the passion yeah six of pentacles he wants to be in a balanced connection with you and before it could have been out of balance so it's going to be equal give and take he's coming to balance in himself he's feeling the love there with the man holding the heart we've got the magician energy he's been working on manifesting this connection working on manifesting this this um feminine back into his life Yeah, we've got Page of Swords, so I feel he could have been keeping an eye on you online here. And maybe that's why he knows, maybe there's other people around you, um, you know, checking on your social media. But he wants to come forward with his truth here, wants to speak his truth. We've got King of Swords here. So you could be connecting with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody mature, somebody that's not normally in their feelings, but we have got the man holding the heart there. So he's balancing out his heart, his feelings with his logic here. And he's wanting to come forward, okay, and make that offer towards you. Yeah, he wants to collaborate. He wants to build something and work with you here. Anything else about that? Yeah, he wants justice for you both. He wants justice in this situation. And he wants to come forward. Because there's been conflict between you with that five of wands. He wants to resolve this conflict. Okay. He wants justice. He wants to sort this out between you. To share his truth. Yeah, we've got Queen of Swords. So, you know, you we've both got um, King and Queen of Swords. as a divine counterpart energy, a match here. And maybe he feels that you could be, have your defences up. You could be angry, she looks quite angry in that card. He's not sure how he's going to be received. So that's why he's working out strategy, but he's not going to let it put him off. He wants to come forward here. Anything else? Mm. 
Wow. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So he wants that ultimate home, family, financial abundance, security. He wants that with you. He wants to create that with you. He's feminine. Okay. Let's have a look at his other energies. So this is my Oracle of the Star Child deck. So we've got healing. So he's been doing healing on himself, as I said. We've got a lot of chakra energies there. So he may have been seeing a healer, but he's definitely been working on that. And we've got Archangel Sword of Truth. So I feel he's really been cutting cords here um, to people, situations, places, sorting out his thoughts and feelings, his behaviour patterns, addictions. He's been using this sword to really cut ties and to free himself, to not be able, you know, to be able to move forward, as I said, towards you. And he's been activated, okay? He's feeling the activation. He's feeling ready in that energy to move forward soon, okay? And, yeah, he's been raising his vibration. He's feeling better. As I say, he's let go of past negative patterns and behaviours. He may have created himself a spiritual practice for some of them. Maybe he's doing yoga, sound healing, meditation. He's getting out into nature. He's in that energy of feeling peaceful, in the energy of gratitude, compassion, and unconditional love right now. So, yeah, we've got enlightenment. So he's seeing things. He's had that clarity. He's seeing things in a different way about this connection. He sees things more clearly. He's feeling more open-minded than maybe you when you were with him. And we've got empathetic, very sensitive to other people's places, situations, alone time needed. So he's spent time alone, you both have, and he's much more empathetic. He's coming to that empathy. He's seeing your side of the situation, whereas maybe he didn't see that before. Okay? So this is my deck, um, Magical Moon Oracles. So yes, yeah, feeling the passion, as I said. And he's dreaming big. He's got big dreams. For this connection and something unexpected could happen here in this connection and he feels like you've put a spell on him he feels mesmerized enchanted by you and he's been focusing on his healing as i said he's been doing that work and he's believing in the magic the magic of this connection and he's been awakening as i say he's seeing the light now and he's in his masculine energies in that emperor energy he's feeling strong he's going to move forward he wants a new start with his feminine and he wants to set couple goals here with his feminine. And he's hoping that she will hear him out at least. So what does he want to say to his feminine? Let me be your one and only love. I'm sorry I've not opened up to you and I told you how I really feel. So he's really wanting to do that. And he's been working on his self-esteem. We saw that with the solar plexus energy. There is something about you I cannot resist. That's why he feels that you put some sort of spell on him. And I'm feeling so good about you and me. I will be telling you my truth soon. So he's really feeling more positive. And there is this strong magnetic pull between us. Do you feel it too? So yeah, really feeling the pull back to you here. And he wants that release. He wants to let go of the past, as I say. Clear the air between you. Have that open, honest talk. And I could be talking about another release there as well, ladies. Um, yeah, he's got that enlightenment. He's seeing the light. He's seeing things clearly. He's trusting in the flow of life. He's letting go of control issues. He could have had control issues before. And he wants to take the lead in this connection. He wants to be the one to move forward, to come towards his feminine. So final guidance. Your commitment is being tested. So this has been a test of your connection here. Okay. And bring love into the situation. So he needs... No, he knows he needs to show you and tell you about how he's feeling. And we had the man holding the heart. There is love here and he wants to bring love into this situation. So beautiful messages there. So sending your love and blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see you next time.